Hey, how you doing? Austin here, getting ready to do a live stream for Clear Cryptos. If you're interested in that, uh, there's a link in uh, here on my channel, go check it out. But beyond that, I wanted to talk to you real quickly about the fact that the crypto market is coming back. Things are moving back in the right direction and uh, this is really an interesting turn of events and this is something that I kind of thought would happen. I talked about it in videos and I talked about the fact that when we got the Federal Reserve decision yesterday that the crypto market would move down, it did because we got the 75 basis points raised that we were expecting. Now, we got from Chairman Powell in his speech that he gave at uh, approximately 2.30 East Coast uh, time yesterday, we got a lot of uncertainty from him, all related to the future interest rate hikes coming from the Fed. And he didn't give us any really strong indication of what they were going to do coming up in December. On December 14th, the Federal Reserve is, is going to be announcing a new, you know, their next uh, interest rate hike. And he didn't give us a lot of clarification on that. So we may, we were looking to get pretty strong indicators that maybe that and that rate high coming in December, again, this is the, the, Fed, the Federal Reserve doing what it can to try to combat inflation, to bring inflation down. We were looking for a, a kind of a confirmation that things are looking better. Again, he didn't do that. He gave us a lot of uncertainty. And so what happened yesterday was the crypto moved down, moved into the negative. And then for the most part of the, most of today, it hasn't really done a lot, but we've actually just moved back in the last couple of hours move back up. Bitcoin, Ethereum moving back into the positive one, two plus percent. Dogecoin moving up like 2.5 plus percent. The others, uh, pretty much everything across the board getting a nice uh, bounce back up. So I think fundamentally what we're seeing here is the crypto market effectively shaking off the Federal Reserve decision. Again, we were expecting a 75 basis point raise. We got that. But now, like I have talked about in previous videos leading up to yesterday, I said, hey, look, it'll probably be about a 24 hour period, which is almost exactly what it was that the market will, the crypto market will basically shake it off and we will kind of move on. Now, the last part of this video, specifically, I want to talk to you about the word uncertainty. And I want to talk to you about the fact that we've got some major uh, events coming up on November 10th we get the unemployment jobs report. This is a key report that we're gonna get that, that will give us insight into unemployment and the jobs market and all that. And this is something that the Federal Reserve the, it will be looking at closely. On November 14th, we get the CPI, the Consumer Price Index Report. Uh, that's gonna be for the, for the month of October. We get, the, we get that report on November. And if that number has moved down or maybe stayed the same, that's, that would be a good thing. But if it's moving back up, if it goes over 8.2 plus percent, then that's not going to be good. But I'm telling you that just that those are some catalysts that are out there that you need to be aware of. Oh, and by the way, we've got elections this month in November. So we got a lot of potentially kind of tumultuous, good word of the day, catalyst for you going on there. But I just want to give you an insight, let you know that's kind of what I'm seeing. That's where we're at. So right now, crypto is doing what I thought. It's lifting back up. and uh, But we still got uncertainty in the market, so let's keep an eye on it. And as always, if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you later. Bye.